Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just doing a quick video today on a grid tied system we've had installed on the house here. Uh, it comprises of 30 440 watt Jinko Tiger Neo panels. They're all black framed, uh, the black sort of blacked out solar panels, they look really good. We've got sort of a charcoal coloured roof here so they blend in quite well. I'll do some follow up videos after we've had the system running for a while. We've only had it installed for about four weeks, four to five weeks. Haven't had any bills since we've had it installed. So just a bit of a background on the property here. We have two, two residences on our property so and they're all under the one bill. We have a family member living in another building on the property. Our bills before the solar were roughly around $1,000 AUD a quarter, uh, which is quite high. So hence the um, need for putting solar on the roof here. Got a, it's quite a big house, so we've got plenty of roof space. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick rundown on the, the location of the panels on the roof. So starting on the back roof here we have, so there's three strings of 10 panels each, 30 panels in total. Uh, so we've got nine panels here, this is north facing and one panel over there which makes up the 10 for that string. I'll just move over here. We have another string of 10 panels here which is west facing. West is out in that direction. So another 10 there, and then another 10 here, which is the east side of the dwelling. So we've kind of got a perfect solar position here. We have uh, the sun rising, obviously, over in the, west, in the east here tracks around over to the north so we get first string in the east in the morning which covers most of our morning loads and then as the sun tracks over it's quite low in the sky at the moment there's the sun up there it is winter at the moment here so yeah it tracks around and starts picking up these panels on the western face and the northern face are picking up most of the sun during the sort of middle part of the day and then as the sun sets over in the west in that direction we've got the north and west strings picking up power so at this stage we're definitely not even coming close to using the solar power that we have that we're generating during the day but it's a bit of a future proof plan this system because definitely going to be getting some batteries connected to the system uh, and also plans to have at least one electric vehicle which would be charged for solar as well so yeah it's a bit of a future proof plan I always think if you're going to do something like this, go as big as you can. Uh, at this stage, a 13.2 kilowatt system is considered sort of uh, on the larger side of a system for residential homes in Australia. So, yeah, we just went as large as we could. I think it's going to cover our needs into the future as well, which is always a good thing. Yeah, so we've got the 13.2 kilowatts of solar on the roof here and we've got a 10 kilowatt sun grow inverter if you want say a 10 kilowatt system you really need to have some redundancy in your panels so that's why we've gone for the 13.2 kilowatt of panels which in summer should see us making in ideal conditions 10 kilowatts at the inverter so if you went 10 kilowatt inverter and 10 kilowatt of panels you would never see 10 kilowatts at your inverter so it's always good to have a bit of redundancy the solar installer worked with me which was great came up with this um, configuration which sort of um, 
picks up morning the best overall usage of the sun. We've got a perfectly positioned roof to pick up the, to have the three st strings installed the way they are, which is great. We have no shading issues whatsoever and we have a lot of sun here where I live. As you can see, it's a winter's day. It is a beautiful day. We call it a cracker of a day here in Australia when it's a day like this. Sun grow system, you have an app which you download on your phone. So I can check what the system's doing wherever I am. At the moment it's 3.30 in the afternoon. We're pulling in 4.2 kilowatts. We're using two kilowatts and we're putting 2.2 back into the grid. So yeah, even getting later in the day like this, the sun is um, definitely staying higher in the sky now as the se season progresses. So yeah, just a first video. If there's intro video, I will uh, make some follow-up videos, uh, like when we get bills, etc. And you can follow along and decide whether it's worth doing something like this for yourself. Alright guys, till the next one. See you later.